Oh, you could get away. You'd probably be able to get away with him, like. Oh. Conservative. Hmm. I mean, if it was me, I I, I only wear black, black shoes for my grey suit. Um, but I'm conservative. Yeah. Thank you very much for, uh, for inviting us to this PRI Congress. Um, it's an exceptional set of circumstances for us because as a, as a media owner, um, working predominantly with the majority of people from the majority of the companies that are here, 
as me and my team do across several countries that we have offices in. It's very, very rare that we actually get an opportunity to come up here and speak to you. Um, and as head of all of these, uh, these wonderful offices and these wonderful teams, I have great pleasure in being able to stand here and explain to you what you can actually be doing proactively to target these young drivers. Um, we've heard some astonishing statistics. I think it's fair to say some extremely frightening. I'm the father, proud father of three small children. My eldest son is eight year old. And I have to say, you put the fear of God into me today, Dev, I have that little boy behind the wheel of a car. And, um, and rightly so. I, I think we all have an obligation professionally and, and parentally to try and educate our, our children as much as we possibly can. Um, the product, forgive me, I, I have a tendency to be quite animated when I talk and being stuck behind there. Feels like I'm stuck behind my desk and I don't get out very often. Um, the, the situation that uh, we're going to discuss today is, is a very simple one. It's one that I've worked well in excess of 17 years to try and provide. And I've provided this solution primarily and predominantly for road safety. Um, I come from 17 years experience in a variety, cross-section of mass media, TV, radio, predominantly outdoor, and then progressively invested um, a, lot of my, uh, a lot of my money, a lot of my wife's money, in fact, soon to be divorced, no doubt, um, into the product which we're gonna to discuss today. This product has, in the words of the head of the UK Highways Agency, Stuart Lovett, um, a very um, recognised individual with his toolkits on road safety, and I've worked with Stuart for 17 years now. Um, in his words, we've revolutionised the way we can communicate messages to drivers. A variety of demographics, admittedly, but in this instance, most definitely in the, uh, in the young driver section. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let some videos do the talking because if not, I'm going to have to just run back off the stage as soon as I've got on here. So I've tried to cut it down as, as, as much as I possibly can. I'll, I'll cut to a video. We've, we were giving a very specific brief from a road safety um, county in the UK called Kent and Medway. Very, uh, a very passionate woman as somebody who's deeply passionate about road safety as I am and I give um, at least 25% of my working day to road safety activities and a, and a, and a media perspective um, voluntarily. It's something that I've become very um, indebted to find out about, in all honesty. And the first person that put me in touch with this level of communication, I'm very thankful to. And, um, and I'm in, I have to say that I'm in envy of quite a few of you in this room because to actually get paid to communicate that message on a daily basis must be quite a, quite a nice thing to do. Um, so this project that we were giving, a brief that we were giving, was on behalf of Kent and Medway Safety Camera Partnership, targeting young drivers predominantly. And this was, the, this was the actual creative that we had to come up with. Now in the UK, we were quite short of library content. This is going back about two years. And we were short of library content. We were too busy spending money on things like my families because we like to stab each other in the UK. And, um, and drinking too much and so on and so forth. But, um, so the, 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 the library footage seems a little bit dated, but, but please forgive me, but um, it's, it's a very effective piece and it worked very well on the execution of the digital ad van that me and my team designed, invested heavily on, made it a very unique unit for your good selves to utilise, to communicate messages now to the young drivers in a variety of these untouchable circumstances that you have to find them in. It's very difficult to communicate with these people, but I'll come to that in a second.
Now that particular video, as I say, was a little bit dated, but it's quite hard hitting, and I still find it very difficult. It still hits me every time I watch it, especially when, from a consultancy perspective, I find myself on different platforms like this throughout Europe, throughout all of the offices we have in Europe. And that video and that clip never seems to uh, have any lesser effect on me, as I'm, I hope it did with the majority of you in this room. But then again, you'll have seen quite significant detailed graphic filament. I'm, I'm in absolute agreement with some of the statements that have been made um, during this Congress, which are, we don't want to scare these young drivers into reacting. I think that's the absolute categoric wrong way to try and tackle this problem. We need to be interacting with them. That's what we need to be doing. And one of the significant things that the Digivan um, offers your good selves, we also absolutely categorically, we, um, let's get this mentioned now, we, we rate out this digi vehicle on a daily rate. So for example, companies, uh, public sector, uh, all over the world pay us to actually go into these, uh, these areas and, and into your hard, difficult target demographics using the Digivan to communicate your messages. We get paid to go and do that on a day-by-day -day basis. But the, the vehicle's been that successful that the public sector groups such as Rospa and, and a majority of other groups like you'll all be familiar with um, are starting to buy these vehicles off us. And we never designed them with that in mind, certainly not from a commercial perspective, absolutely not. Um, we thought it would have diluted our market, if anything, but let's get back to the job at hand. It's solving problems, it's communicating issues, which they, let's face it, couldn't have done through mass media. And we find it a very, a very positive position to be in to actually now build these vehicles and sell them into your areas. And what you can do with these vehicles is phenomenal. So the clip that you see was primarily to target young drivers. And it was young drivers in the Kent Medway area. These drivers where we were found to be a, a huge fatality rate on young drivers. We worked um, significantly with the police in the local areas to try and identify some smart intelligence about where these problematic areas were. First question we were asked was, can you do it? Well, of course we can do it. This is what we do. We formulate a strategy, a very specific strategy, almost military by way of its style of operation. I'm, I'm very, very uh, uh, clear to make that point. And we work with the local police force, we work with the local fire. Let's face it, it's not just the police that are getting involved in these, in these fatalities, the fire brigade are then they're traumatized. A lot of them, I speak with them on a regular basis. So the job was, where do we go? How do we do this? Well, we formulated a plan uh, in association with my operations director, John Fennick. Um, John's a, a very um, specialized strategist in this type of environment. And we, we came up with a plan that of, we, would, we would take care of the obvious. We were going to schools, we were going to colleges, we were going to universities. But it was very obvious to me, you know, but we need to do something else. So this vehicle has a 120 inch high definition screen with, with audio. So on an evening where I live, and I know there's people from all over the world here, yeah, and I guarantee it's the same in every single area where we all live there will be a congregation of young people in cars. Where I live, it's the local as the car park next door to McDonald's. Every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, guaranteed they are there in their masses. Take that example, replicate it in this scenario where we were in in Kent Medway, which is just outside of London, and you had a target route plan. So as we would enter these car parks, they're very much in their comfort zone. Initially they think it's the police coming, oh my gosh, what's happening? And, uh, and it's not, it's just little old us, some are there to communicate a message to you and we want you to damn well listen. In association with that, we were very significantly clear about having the vehicle, having an interactive participant in this particular case, was to try and draw and drive some traffic to, the, to their website, which was slowed down. Worked extremely well. We secured um, several different um, high profile car parks. And the beauty of this story is that when you go into these car parks, you always find this one that has the bravado above everybody else. There was one in my group when I grew up, and I'm sure there was one in every one of the groups you grew up in. But those are the people that we try to target. We try clearly to try and identify who they are. So as we pull into this location, in this particular instance, there was one outside of the McDonald's. And we video every campaign we do, but I'm always insistent if you work with us and we do these daily rate advertising campaigns for you, utilising the Digivan, or if you buy a Digivan from us, we always make sure that you're happy with it's where it's going to be delivered. I insist you come along. I absolutely insist you come along. Mass media and volume is about volume sales. Strategic media, like what we do, 
right across the board is about making a difference with strategy. So we insist if you're there, you are the only person that's going to see the accountability of measuring those results, as well as a couple of uh, audience measuring software principles we have built in. But we want you there. We want you to decide whether we've actually made a difference. And in this case, Catherine Barrett, who is the communication officer, wept, period. And um, I don't want anybody to take my word for this. I want you to speak to her. And she'll tell you how powerful the campaign that was. Because when we were sitting there playing that clip, at the point of impact, what you see before, my team just went around with a video camera. And Mr. Bravado, as it happens, wasn't Mr. Bravado anymore. His, his jaw dropped, he was quite taken back. That is the moment to communicate more messages when they're on the back pedal. And it's not an easy thing to do, but it can be done. That's the difference, it absolutely can be done. You've just got to be very careful with your execution and you've got to have a strategy. If you have not got a strategy and you're communicating outdoor advertising, do not do it. Because you are just throwing good money after bad. And that, that is fact. And that's 17 years experience of, of t accepting money from people. Do not do it. It's a waste of money. So this is how we executed the campaign. Oh, sorry. so I can go on and on and on, but I'm not allowed to, apparently. Um, so, how do we encapsulate all of this? What is it that I'm talking about? And we define and trademark this, uh, this principle terminology is either. So it's interactive, and we'll come back to that very quickly in a second, digital out of home. You'll be familiar with all sorts of terms, um, out of home advertising, uh, obviously of which radio and, and mass media have a tendency not to fall into that category, but well, we do. And it's a very fast and rapidly moving um, uh, outdoor media, and it's a very rapid moving market, especially with the young drivers, because they have all sorts of um, lesser barriers when it becomes technophobic, like what I am. They are very much more applicable and adapted to this particular form of media, and they receive it extremely well. Um, almost to the degree of that they volunteer the interactness of it all, and I find that quite astonishing, but it is a fact. So, I go, it's an opportunity for us to come into your world to communicate your messages to that demographic interactively. Period. The interactive elements of what we do are exceptionally strong and hard hitting. And I'll repeat the sentence I said before. If you are not interacting with your target audiences, do not do it. You need strategy which must include interactivity. You've got to interact with these people. The untouchables. I heard a very educated gentleman yesterday, that man there, if you want to put your hand in the air, please, yes, you with your arms crossed, indeed. And I couldn't, couldn't agree more with the, with the majority of the things you said. All right, I apologise, but I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, and what I call them, the, the, the gentleman had some very, very um, positive things to say and, and enlightened me from an educational perspective. Um, the, the, the untouchables, as we refer to them as, are a crowd that we just feel very difficult to reach. I've mentioned it in several circumstances earlier. They are very, very difficult to find. They're very difficult for us to interact with. But now we find ourselves gifted with a solution of finding them in the comfort of their own little zones and the ability to communicate these messages. 
Taking them into the, to the areas where they were, um, I found that several other messages could have also been communicated, not just the one that we were there to communicate. I'm talking about additional road safety messages. They were very receptive to it. We handed out tangible marketing material in association with the, um, the uh, Safety Camera Partnership, um, DVDs, uh, USB sticks, so they could allow to use them at university. All of these uh, USBs carry PDF file formats, which were uh, which they were able to download and read or not read uh, their choice. Um, in addition to that, they were given um, car magazines, um, and they were given a facility to log onto the website. Again, all. All of, these, uh, all of these interactive elements allowed the, the communication of that campaign to be interactive. That was the most crucial bit, the interactivity. Close proximity to interaction. If we're not close to these people, we're not going to be able to interact with them. The digivan and the street screens, which you see in earlier, allow us to get very close to these people. It allows us to almost touch them with the message, which is critical. Which is why we don't mind, at any form stage, um, manufacturing these vehicles with the element add-ons that we do. A lot of, um, of the road safety companies that we work with want it all liveried up with their name on the side, that's fine. When we deliver it to them with the keys, it's a striking added weight to their campaign message. Again, an example of close proximity. Strategic placement, increasing engagement opportunities. Each vehicle has the Wii in there, in every games console, so we can make it a bit fun for them. They can play the Wii, they can play Xbox, um, and I think that's a very critical element. There are things like augmented reality. So we go up to the screen and we produce a football. Obviously the football's a virtual football, it's not necessarily there. And they're keeping the football up, but it's just augmented reality on the Digivan. We also get a product called Magic Symbol. Card in your hand, you go up to it, but you've got to interact with the screen. You go up to the screen, what looks like a piece of card in your hand is an actual video. It's a video when you look at yourself on the screen, it's phenomenal. And that video could be any form of road safety message that you want it to be. It is the most amazing piece of kit and software we've had the pleasure of working with. Um, all of these interactive elements, again, communicate the message in a fun way, and then intermittently, you hit them with your message with a remote control button on the vehicle. Um, lastly, two testimonials. This is the Catherine Barrett testimonial we have used as SA Digivans, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and the good thing about this is we actually did make a difference, and we do make a difference. The video which I'm going to show you now is a very recent piece, it's the end of, my, uh, end of my presentation and it is a video of some very new footage. I started with the old, now I'm bringing in the new, it's a little bit of a head turner. Um, this was facilitated to go onto YouTube, as a result of what you're going to see, this one got over 2 million hits in its first 3 weeks targeting young people. You'll see exactly why, although the message that you think you see isn't necessarily the message that you're going to be seeing. Now, a very hard hitting piece of film, I'm sure you'll all agree. We, as a digital media owner, are here not to make up the numbers of mass media, we are here to make a difference. And categorically, like every single professional in this room, 
I am deeply passionate about making a difference with road safety. And I will do everything within my professional power to help, assist, consult on a free basis, educate wherever I can possibly educate to show you how much we can make a difference. Outside, my colleagues have prepared an envelope in their business cards, telephone numbers, a little bit of information about what we've shown you today. Take one and give us a call and we'll be happy to work and help you. Thank you very much.